everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again, and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm doing a teeny tiny little bit of cooking. So I thought I would bring you guys along. I thought, what, what in the world? What else are we doing, right? Uh, we are still practicing uh, social distancing and all of that. We're not going very many places if any places really at all we really haven't been anywhere so i thought well why don't i go ahead and show you how to make this chicken soup this chicken soup is the easiest peasiest recipe you've you will ever ever try honestly all you need is a little chicken fryer about four or five onions medium yellow onions and about six to seven stalks of celery chopped up salt and pepper and extra wide egg noodles like this okay now first thing you do is i have already unwrapped the chicken and i have rinsed the chicken off chris is here doing all my cutting for me so i'm going to keep my camera this way because you know mr mister will not you know be on camera so excuse the mess that is behind us here I'm thinking I might have to take my nails off, so I have to myself a little nail thing. I don't know what I'm doing in that respect yet. So anyway, here I have my chicken. See, I have just a chicken, chicken fryer. I've washed it, and I'm going to uh, pour water on it until it is more than covered. Excuse me, I was dusting too earlier. Right so I'm just going to fill it with water in my big soup pot here until it covers the chicken. How are you guys doing? You guys staring all right in all of this? This has been quite the, quite the thing, hasn't it been, y'all? Uh, I do have a hair appointment. Guess when it is? April the 28th. <laughs> oh my heavens. I have no idea what I'm going to look like by April 28th, but you know what? It's okay. We're, we're going to be safe. We're going to be okay. We are going to survive through all of this. All right, let me take this over to my stove and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Like I said, Chris has cut all my veggies up for me. And here's my pot. And Look, he's even got them on two different cutting boards for me. Let's see here. Let me get a spoon. And all you do is you bring all this to a boil. Once you add all the onions. This is this is nothing new here, by the way, you guys. Chris usually he is a great whoops cutter of the vegetables and stuff so he usually is the one that cuts everything for me there we go thank you my Zeus Jeff here <laughs> here's all the celery use less celery than onions I don't know whether you all find this or not but I find that celery kind of Sometimes we'll take the taste out of foods, you know. So there we go, just celery and onions. Now I'm going to add just some salt and pepper and more pepper than salt. I use a good bit of pepper. Uh, and I, then I use bouillon cubes more than I use. I don't usually use table salt as I just... I just put some bouillon cubes in, just for a little bit of flavor. Of course, the chicken will give you flavor, but. Now this is probably every bit of mm, eight cups of water. So each one of these is two for two cups of water. So I'm gonna start out with three, air on the side of less so would which, which would really give me you know like six cups of chicken broth you know so i'm just going to open these up and put them in and i very well might end up adding more bouillon 
it just I'll taste it once it cooks for about an hour and I, you need to let it cook you need to let bring this to a boil and let it boil and cook that chicken for about an hour or so depending on you know until your chicken is done and then once the chicken's done you pull the chicken out and then if for some reason the onions or celery aren't soft then you'll need to cook it a little longer and until they're softened and whatnot so that's it so all i have to do is bring this to a boil and let it cook and cook and cook for like an hour take the chicken out pick the chicken off let it cool of course then pick the chicken off the bone and uh then just let it sit until you're ready to eat and i do not add the noodles into the chicken soup i cook the noodles separately and then add whatever noodles we want into our soup so i gotta wait till this comes to a boil and let it cook and i'll be back to show you i don't know i might put into fast motion show you picking the, us picking the chicken and then cooking the noodles and i'll be back for a taste test a little bit later to show you everything put together all right catch it a little bit I was i was coming back into the kitchen to grab the chicken out of the pot to pick the chicken and guess what <laughs> yuck chris already picked the chicken i was over there editing a video and i did not and loading it onto youtube and did not even realize he was doing it so there we go but anyway here is the chicken soup with all of the chicken that looks pretty good huh so all i have to do now is just cook up the egg noodles and i'm going to go ahead and do that just cook them up to the package directions and i'll come back for a taste test and then chris and i are going to make ourselves toasted cheese sandwiches and have a bowl of soup for dinner. So that'll be it. All right, I'll be back for a taste test and some final words in just a second. <laughs> Chris is now going to let <laughs> you cross. Oh my land, we're going a little stir crazy over here, can you tell? Anyway, I'll be back <laughs> for a taste test and some final words. I also made some cookies, Shh, you don't see that. Oh my goodness. Ah, all right, back be back for just a second. I wanted to let you know that we also do skim the oil off of the top. We let it sit for a little while and cool off. And then we skim the oil off of the top. So Chris is just taking a ladle and he's putting it in to a measuring cup. And just any, you know, any container will work. But just to get that oil off of the top. That oil is not good for us to eat. And it doesn't taste all that wonderful. So... This takes a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, but it's well worth it in the end, and it makes for a better soup. Also, too, I misspoke earlier when I said that I don't ever put my noodles in my soup. That's a fib. I do, now that I remember. It's been a long time since I cooked this soup, y'all. So, but I have my pot heating up for my noodles over there, and I do definitely just put the noodles. I cook them very al dente, kind of. I don't cook them till they're, you know, real soft. I cook them till they're still kind of tough, and then I put them in the soup, and they're tasty and good. All right, I'll be back with a taste test in a little bit. I don't know that you can see much from that direction. Get a nice facial. Okay. Now let's go dump these into the chicken soup. all she wrote just mix it up now I have to do is make some toasted cheese sandwiches a lot of you guys call them grilled cheese I've often been made fun of for calling them 
uh, toasted cheese sandwiches, but that's how I was raised. They were always toasted cheese sandwiches. Excuse how I look, I know I'm a sight. But my mom always called them toasted cheese, so I always call them toasted cheese. So anyway, I'll be making some toasted slash grilled cheese here in the pan here in just a few minutes. And then we'll be ready to eat. About ready to do a, let me do a taste test on this soup. Let me do that real quick. It smells right. It smells really good. So, it's really hot. <laughs> I don't want to burn my tongue. And I'll do some final words, honey, while you're standing there. Can you hold it that long, you think? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. You talk about some comfort food? That's this, y'all. Uh-oh. Noodles are done. <laughs> this is really good. I would need to add some salt to that. Chris would not. So that's why I say air on the, or you could add more bouillon, right? Is that what you're saying? What are you saying? Oh, is this light? He's gonna turn the light out behind me. <laughs> uh, like I said, I would need to add a little bit of salt to that, but Chris wouldn't. So I always err on the side of less salt because you know, you can't take it out. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. But the taste is that, you know, that, homemade chicken noodle soup taste. That's what it tastes like. It's really good. So we are going to have us a good dinner. I don't know that I'll videotape myself doing grilled cheese sandwiches. All I do is take two pieces of bread. I butter them. I put them down in the pan. I slap a piece of American cheese in between, top it with another, brown it, turn it over, brown it, so the cheese melts, and I'm done. Honestly, that's it. The key to a good grilled cheese or toasted cheese sandwich is a lot of butter on the bread. Shh. It's not good for my weight, but that's what makes a really tasty, tasty toasted cheese sandwich. So anyway, with all that said, thanks for coming by today. This is just an impromptu, silly little video of my homemade chicken soup that we've had around here forever. It's so easy. Try it though, it's really good. Add what you want to it. Take away what you don't want whatever, make it your own. Anyway, I hope that y'all are fair and okay as we go through this coronavirus business. It is uh, tough on all of us, and I know we're all being touched by it. So keep your chins up, wash your hands a lot, know that you're in my thoughts and my prayers, and I'll just go into my final words and say for those of you who might be suffering or struggling with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope that there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, Chris and I will both say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.